Um, just to give you a bit of background to me as a photographer, I guess, um, I studied here in Preston uh, three years ago now. I graduated three years ago. Um, and just before I graduated, I made a newspaper kind of about the bus station, the people that use it. And I kind of placed the newspapers in the bus station so people could pick them up, they could take them on the bus, they could read them, chuck them in the bin. And it was kind of an, an interesting kind of small little project. I, I don't think you'd be able to see the pictures, but um, I've got an iPad that you can just sort of all pass around. I mean, yeah. Um, so yeah, so I produced this little newspaper that was kind of an accessible way of people seeing the images that I took in the bus station. And then when I found about the news that the bus station was being demolished, I thought it was really important for me to come back to the bus station and spend a... Because when I'd done the newspaper, I only spent a couple of days here. So I thought it was important to come back for a whole month and really kind of study the bus station. So basically, as the bus station is almost kind of like a loop, every single day I came here from probably 8 in the morning till 10 in the evening, kind of just looping the bus station. And it became really interesting that, you know, the more that you walk around and you study a space, the kind of very particular details about people, their haircuts, what they wear, the way their shoes are, it all kind of jumps out at you and you can really begin to understand people and the people that use this space. And what's really nice is that obviously the bus station is a, a very transitional space, you know, people come here, they catch the bus and they leave. But then what I came across was that there was people that kind of stayed here every day, they'd come here, they'd eat loads of toast in the cafe, and then they'd stay here the whole day and they'd socialise with people. So you had all these different kinds of people to look at and kind of photograph. Um, and also, down here, all the um, National Express and the Megabus bring people from all over the country as well. So it wasn't just local people that I was looking at. It was also um, people from all over the country. So Preston <laughs> bus station was really interesting in that way. That it was just an influx of all these different kinds of people all of the time. So in terms of a, of a, a photography study, it was kind of really interesting. It's a shame you can't see the pictures, but I mean, yeah. But anyway, after, and then after this, I thought also to take the project another level, I also done a film where I kind of filmed a, a local youth orchestra playing some instruments around the bus station. And it was almost kind of a homage. It was really, it was kind of, with this stuff, it's you know, pure documentary, I'm not having any input, it's just I see someone that kind of catches my eye and I take their portrait, whereas with the film, it was kind of, I was kind of trying to think about, uh, you know, a nice kind of touch that I could bring to the bus station and I was really interested in kind of just orchestras and I found this youth orchestra and I basically got them to play a tune around the bus station when I filmed them. I'm the only one 
trying to fight it I'm the only one One more Walking through the desert plain Everywhere I see your face I'm a, I don't know why But my heart starts to bleed I'm the only one, I'm the only one, I'm the only one for the lonely curse. I'm the only one trying to find it. I'm the only one, 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 I'm the only one.